Ireland has revealed that just 55 debt deals have been reached in the first six months of its operation, and only four of those involved the restructuring of mortgage debt. It was set up to help people who are heavily in debt get out of it in a fair and transparent way. It began its work last year, but the Insolvency Service of Ireland has admitted it's got off to a slow start. Figures released today show just four deals involving mortgage debt have been done. The average write-off was 19%. Its director said, though, it is making an impact and there is a significant number of new cases in the pipeline. It has been slow, the numbers are low, but it is encouraging looking at the number of cases that are on our system in draft form. And as, as I said, for that reason, I believe the cases will increase over time. Indeed, the service is expecting a dramatic rise in the number of mortgage deals agreed in the next year. But advocacy groups have said the service should be doing more to advertise itself to those who need it. The ISI should reach out to every town in Ireland. It is essential that insolvency, including bankruptcy, is demystified and destigmatized. And while critics point out that the banks can veto any potential deals, the service should be given more time to prove itself, say others. There's going to be teething problems. The process in the UK took about a decade to get right. We have a very good comprehensive system that just isn't fully up and running yet. Today's figures also show there have been 51 agreements to reduce unsecured debt, like that owed on credit cards or to credit unions. The write-offs have been significant, at an average of 77%. The Insolvency Service also reported a significant rise in the number of bankruptcies. There were 66 cases approved in the last three months, and that's more than the entire number for last year. But no doubt it will be any update on the mortgage deals that will be closely studied when the service releases more figures later this year. Conor Hunt, RTE News.